We were talking earlier about a uh, new system you have that allows someone to pay for something seamlessly in a store or online with um, NFC, with near field communication. And I just thought it's interesting a German company starts this as this is a country where if you can find a store that's open and convince the shopkeeper to sell you something, you've got to use cash. Uh, where do you get the kind of growth that you have as a German company doing wireless payments? Uh, first of all, by going global. So uh, we were early event in regions where digital payments uh, was adopted much more early. But uh, we also see a huge pickup now also in continental Europe and especially also Germany. So many big German companies are now strongly also going for digital. They are trying to unify their sales channels over one digital stack. So I'm very optimistic that also the large uh, German corporations are going into this direction. We're helping them on this path. Much of your growth is coming out of Asia. There was a report in the Financial Times that you've taken issue with, but it said that three companies alone were responsible for half of your sales and over 90% of your operating profit out of Asia. Is that untrue? That's untrue. So about 50% of our volume is coming from outside Europe. Um, and uh, let's say consistently we're doing, of course, our revenues and volume with merchants. We have over 300,000 merchants. So uh, this is our growth generation and this is our revenue generation. So this is where the uh, volume and growth is coming from. Let me ask about the, the, the scandals uh, that we've seen in the stock market. I mean, it's interesting because on the one hand, you have 23 buy ratings from analysts out of the 29 that, that I counted on the Bloomberg today. On the other hand, there seems to be a nonstop controversy coming from the Financial Times, SIRF, and a number of other places that create the kind of volatility I don't think German investors are, are used to. Why is that there's so much controversy surrounding your company? Let me first say, since going public in 2005, I think we delivered uh, an average share price growth every year of 36%. So I think we have been very successful also in share price development terms. Um, and if you look into our new sales, we had in the second half year of uh, 2018, new sales was up by nearly 160%. So we signed in the second half year 32 billion of new volume. Um, that uh, compares to about 12 billion in the same period last year. So I think we have a tremendous growth development before us. Uh, we have big innovations before us. So this is what we concentrate on. Uh, I do not too much look into controversies, but my message is I think we're, we have a very strong year before us. Uh, we are concentrated on technology innovations. The whole digital payment area is still early stage. So, of course, in many areas we are, we are pioneers. Uh, and uh, we have been very early going to Asia. I definitely see Asia as one of the biggest growth markets for digital in general and payment especially because the first thing that people buy there is a smartphone. Uh, and we, China is a good, uh, let's say, uh, an example. Already five, 600 million people are using their smartphone not only to pay online, but they are using it at the point of sale. So to some extent, we see Asia as a very interesting growth market. We have a very strong year before us, and this is what we concentrate on. It's clearly at the leading edge of wireless payment, but it's also very far away, and you've had issues with uh, your corporate governance structure in Asia. What are you doing to change that? Have you got someone new in charge of compliance? Have you got someone new in charge of you know, know your customer, dealing with or stopping money laundering sort of before it happens? I think it's a, a strong USP of Wirecard that we have always started already 17, 18 years to invest in a very strong real-time compliance process. We can today really in a real-time digital process sign up globally merchants uh, in a very strong and robust compliant way. So I would see the exactly or I have a different view here. I think it's a strong USP for us that we're heavily investing there constantly and that we can today act on all five continents. We can really deliver uh, with
strong, scalable processes on all five continents, not only in Asia, but we are now also active in North America, in South America, in Africa, in Australia, New Zealand. So I would say uh, risk management and compliance in relation to very innovative processes is one of our absolute strengths. Do you, uh, have you changed the shift of the corporate structure though to keep your eye here in your Munich based offices on everything that's going on globally? Have you got someone who's in control of compliance uh, that's in Singapore here in Munich that you can talk to in real time? Yeah. So um, we have over 200 people globally focusing on merchant compliance and focusing on compliance processes. Uh, so again, I think we have very robust processes there. We are heavily investing in this area, in technology. So in our area, it's about technology. It's about real-time decision-making process. Uh, human beings are escalation processes, but we're always, let's say, very much focusing on real-time and on strong digital monitoring processes. And I would say on this level, we're absolutely best of class. You have uh, quintupled your market cap in the last three years. So shareholders have been with you for a long time are certainly happy from the financial standpoint. Are you, do you think sharing enough with them as far as transparency is concerned when it comes to acquisitions, when it comes to customer onboarding? You've got your shareholder meeting uh, next week. So uh, I think we constantly increase also our reporting or we constantly develop our reporting. If you compare, let's say, our reporting 2008 to what we uh, are disclosing in 2018 for our full year reporting 2018, I think also there uh, we are uh, much more advanced than uh, many of our peers. So we are completely disclosing what do we do with organic. So for example, in Q1 now we had an organic revenue growth of 32%, which was tremendous. It was our best quarter. Uh, a real record quarter. Um, so we're disclosing what we do organic, what we do with historic M&A. Uh, going forward, we don't see M&A as an important part for Wirecard. So we're currently very much concentrate on organic growth. Uh, we are currently rolling out Wirecard platform globally in all geographies where we are currently active. And this is what we concentrate on. But okay. there's a clear commitment, of course, to constantly also increase uh, our and to further develop our reporting.